hello and welcome back to video 20 on the isometric projection and if you have been following so far in the last 19 videos and right there you are here in the 20 20th video on the isometric drawing i must say a very big thank you to you to you for following uh, this video series so far and if you are just coming across video 20 on the isometric drawing or maybe you joined somewhere along the line uh, i'll leave a link to all of the previous ones in the description of this particular video so do make sure you check them out and if you are new here and you are yet to subscribe please consider subscribing if you want to see more content under engineering and technical drawing or more content under electrical engineering topics uh, do make sure you click on that subscribe button to subscribe to PA Academy all right so now this is what we are going to be looking at in this particular drawing so you can see in the last three or four um, drawings that we are looking at what what, uh, one thing that is of interest is the fact that when you have a particular side or a particular face of a symmetric drawing just like this one you can see this particular line and this one at the top is not at 30 degrees remember symmetric drawing they are always at 30 degrees the side apart from the vertical lines but all this other side are always at 30 degrees so interestingly this is not at 30 degrees at all so that's what we've been looking at so this is the last one on this particular um, section remember in the introduction i said i'm going to be dividing this video into three three parts if you look at the first part this is the second part and then this is the last one in the second part so the third part we are going to be looking at the one that involves circles but let's finish with this before we go to the third one the third part which is going to be video 21 under isometric drawing so to start with i hope you know what you are going to be starting with and what is that you are starting with the horizontal line so i already have my horizontal line i hope you can see it then I will introduce my vertical line. Like I say, like I do say, please make sure your set square and your T square are properly placed. You know, it's very important. It can, if, it, if you don't do it right, you, you know, you get everything wrong. So from the point of intersection, From the point of intersection you draw you use your set square to get your 30 degree points and don't use your your protractor please don't use your protractor to get your 30 degrees if you've been following so far you see that um, my protractor is out of sight so that's because we are not going to be needing it here at all so we already have this line so let's take measurements so the length from here to here is 50 millimeter focus from here to here is 50 millimeter the height is 15 and from here to here is also 50 so let's take that uh, let's take those measurements so so this is the 50 And then on this side also is also 50 and then we are having the height to be 15 that is 1.5 and I also have one question I want to know which unit are you familiar with let me know in the comment section below are you familiar with centimeter or millimeter so let's let me know what you think about this what i've just asked all right so now let's continue so i bring in my set square i mean my t square so what i want to do now from this point i want to draw this line this particular line And then I'll do the same thing on the other side. So we don't need to start measuring this whole one to make it 50. So what we we'll just do is we use our set square and our t square once we place it. So 
ですね。So this is what diagram continue looks like, and then from this. So if you have, you know, if you have been following, I believe by now you should know how to be turning your your set screw. And if you do, let me know in the comment section below if you are finding it easy. You know, if you don't have any issue with turning your set square, depending on the angle you want to get, you know, you can see you can turn it like this, turn it like this, without having any issue. All right. So now let's take some measurements. Before taking some measurements, let me make this line bold. So, all right, so let's look at our reference diagram. So the distance from here to here is 10, while from here to here is 15. So let's take that, uh, let's note those points. So here is 10 millimeter. So from here, and then while here is 15. So for us to get this line and this particular line, what you are going to do is just bring in your set square, make sure it's resting properly on your on your T square. So you adjust it till you get to this point. So with a faint line, you draw this line. So you turn it the other way. From the end of this 10 millimeter line another faint line to the point of intersection so you can see this is the point of intersection without being able to get this line and this line you can see we don't even need to measure it that okay okay let me make, make it bold first so that just to show us that just to confirm if we are correct well I'm sure it's correct as I'm going ahead to make it bold if I'm not sure I would have confirmed before making it bold so now so you see that this is four, four centimeter. That's four millimeter. That is from here to here. You can see four centimeter, four milli. I mean four centimeter, forty millimeter. So that's the beauty of isometric drawing. So you can see we didn't just pick our ruler and start measuring forty and then just trying to get it. Once your construction is right, every other thing is going to fall in place. It's going to be right. All right. So let's. Uh, there's one point I need. I want us to note is from here. To here, so let's see what's there, and that's 1.5 centimeter, that's 15 millimeter. So, this is it. So, from this point, this point, and this point, we are going to be drawing vertical lines. So, for us to draw that vertical lines, we bring in our set square. So if you are finding value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. Click on that thumbs up button, that like button. Alright, so we so the next thing is the height of these lines is from here to here. It's 40. It's 40. So let me measure it. Same thing applies here. It's also 40. This side 40. So the line I want to draw now is this particular line from here to here. So faint line. Since I don't know the exact length, I've not measured it. So from this point, which is this point here, I'm going to draw a line to come and touch this vertical line here. So 
So from the point of intersection here, so this particular point here, this is it here. I'll draw another line like this. So this line, this vertical line I drew earlier with a faint line, I can go ahead to make it bold. Draw it with a thick line. So another thing I want to do is, from this particular point, there's this line here. So let's take some measurements. So from here to here is 15 millimeter. That's 1.5. So let's note it. And right from here to here is 25. Right from here to here is 20. So now let's bring in our size square to do the rest. So with this now we can from this line, this point here to this point. from this to this so this line this is it here so the next thing is for it to go up this point here this is it here you have to draw a vertical line so let me adjust my t square up so it went up by 10 millimeter which is one centimeter So what I want to do is from this top here is to draw this line so that will require the set square. And since it is 10, 10 millimeter. So this one, we are going to be using our roller to join them. Also from this point, so now we are going to be doing this side, this point to this point, then this line, we are going to join them together. So this is it here. So with this now you can see we've been able to replicate this particular isometric drawing we've been able to replicate it here so now let's let me go ahead and do the dimension let me add the dimensions
all right so that is it on the dimension please always make sure you hide your own dimensions when you are drawing your symmetric drawing so one question for you before we go to the next uh the next drawing so so far we've looked at 20 drawings and i want to ask you one question in addition to other question i've asked in the course of this video so how many of these drawings have you done so far how many i want to know in the comment section below maybe you are just watching it and then just you know just drawing it in your head but how many of these drawings have you done so far have you put paper, pencil to paper to attempt any of these drawings i want to know how many how many have you done so far is it five over twenty two over twenty or even zero over twenty let me know just let me know in the comment section below and i'll see you all in um, in video 21 video 21 we are going to be looking at isometric drawings that uh, with circles in them you know how to draw circles like cylinders you know circles you know anything that has to do with circle in isometric drawing that's what we are going to be looking at in the next um couple of videos we are going to be looking at so thank you very much for watching and i want to see your comments in the um in the comment section below how many have you done 10 over 10 10 over 20 20 over 20 0 over 20 do let me know thank you